as, huh? No, I'm gonna go through this problem and then I'll, then I'll put this away. So, ladies and gentlemen, the only difference with this one is you guys can see now I have a binomial radical expression. So therefore, I'm gonna have to multiply by the conjugates. So I apply distributive property up top, and I have 4 minus 4 squared of 3. In my denominator, again, I mentioned this is a binomial times a binomial. You can use the box method, but this, you, when you multiply a number by a conjugate, like I mentioned with the imaginary numbers, this gives you a difference of two squares. So you really only need to multiply the first term and last term. 1 times 1 is 1. The square root of 3 times negative square root of 3 is negative square root of 9. Well, the square root of 9 is 3. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So therefore, I have 4 minus 4 square root of 3 divided by negative 2. Now, I simply take the negative 2 and divide it into both of those terms. And what I obtain is a negative 2 plus 2 square root of 3.